Joe, you got this all wrong, like God did when he made Rosie O'Donnell. You can't put a vagina on this man. Why not? I'm God. Well, what do you want to do about the breasts? Uh, take a couple out of the bin we can't find matches for. Uh, Joe, you are going to be happier than bullfrogs on vacation in Ethiopia. Oh, this is fantastic. This is even better than they said it was in the brochure. Oh, yeah, I feel like a pig, but come on, we're on vacation. Exactly. Right? Don't hate yeah. yourself. We're on vacation, exactly. right? Yeah, I hear Madonna's raising this guy's kid. Are you serious? We come to a mansion and you want to live with the help? Ugh, that's like going to a strip club on a Tuesday afternoon. Is there anyone here who hasn't had a C-section? This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Es con mucho dolor que digamos adiós a Javier, y Pepe, y Carlos, y Lupe, y otra Lupe, Salvador, Fabián, Jesús, María, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. I don't know how to tell you this, but you weren't born in America. You were born in Mexico. What? When I found out that your real father was a drunken Irishman, I went to Mexico to terminate my pregnancy. Oh. But God had other plans, and you were born right there. You were so beautiful, and I loved you. I'm free now. I've got my own place, no attachments. There you are. That's just the kind of can-do spirit that built this nation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Except the Jews. Franklin, for the fifth time, I'm sorry you overpaid for your house, but it's not going in. You'll be sorry. Noted. Moving on. You know, he wrote all those Kentucky Fried Chicken jingles. I don't care for them. Not after what happened to Foghorn Leghorn. I say, I say, son, what, what do we got brewing in here? I was walking by when I picked up the smell of 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Look at that boy, running all around like a chicken with its head cut. Wait a minute. Well, by God, Brian, we're murderers. I guess this means you'll be going to doggy hell. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I haven't been this disappointed since I saw the lake house. See, the mailbox is like a time portal. Everything Keanu Reeves puts in there, Sandra Bullock gets two years later. Oh, my Hickory Farms package is here. Mr. Superman, no here. Uh, well, we're looking for a missing... I know. Mr. Superman, he, he no is here. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, can you just give him this flyer? I no, No. I have no money. Just take this flyer, and if you see this baby... No, no. Yeah, that's a great achievement. Just like the first chemotherapy patient to figure out the handkerchief look. Honey? Get in here! What is it? Just, just get in here! What? Oh my god! Right? It's like you don't, don't even, even have, have cancer. cancer! I know! Oh my god! <laughs> no, but I still have pretty aggressive cancer. We now return to Damn Nature, You Scary on BET. Damn, look at that bitch go! He hauling ass! That thing come by my house, I kill it! <laughs> that little rat looking thing just got ate! Damn, nature, you scary. Pina, why would you do that? Because Speedy Gonzalez is an immigrant and a bad influence on our children. So I created his American equivalent, Rapid Dave. I got you now, mouse. Yeah, well, up yours, cat. Quickly, 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 run fast, run fast, quickly. I hate shows that cut away from the story for some bull crap. <laughs> Ah, uh, now see, that's an even more beautiful sight than 72 virgins waiting in heaven for a suicide bomber. Here I am! We're playing Magic the Gathering. Wanna join? Osama! Boys, there's only one answer. We gotta re-cripple Joe. It's the right thing to do, like taking out Hitler. <laughs> see, we had a plan for that all along. 
Well, I think you've been wonderful. Like when you took her to that new movie, I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. I'm rich and you're poor, but let's dance together. Society won't like it. I don't care. Good for you. Good for you. Boy, great party, huh, Fred? Yeah. You know, Bon, I figured I ought to tell you this. I was walking by your house the other day, and uh, I poked my head in the window, and Betty was undressing. Now, uh, she saw me there, but she didn't stop. What? She didn't stop. I mean, she saw me there looking at her, and she kept undressing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you serious? Yeah, I got an erection. No more will I treat you like some kind of alien. Three minutes to minimum safe distance. Stop. Not so fast, y'all. You think you can just up and run away? You crazy. I like to eat people from other planets. Especially y'all. I like to eat you with my little mouth, too. Oh, now y'all get back up inside me, little mouth. I wants to play, too. Get back inside. I'll get you when we's eating them. Zoop. And you'll be cooler than a mid-80s novelty answering machine message. I'm glad you called, but I'm not home. But I'll be back before too long. You gotta wait for the beep. You gotta leave your name. You gotta leave your number. Wait for the beep. It's me again. I just had to hear it one more time. And now back to One Tree Hill. Dude, let me tell you something. There is nothing that'll ever happen in the rest of our lives that's as important as what's going on right here, right now, in high school by these lockers. I've got so many problems. Hey. Nothing that can't be fixed by staring at a lake. High school is such a serious thing. These problems matter. Great. This is a bigger waste of time than Ringo's songwriting. Hey, guys, I wrote a song. Oh, that's great. Oh, good, Ringo. Fantastic. You know what? I'm going to put it right here, right on the refrigerator. That way we'll get to see it every day. All right. Yeah, she looks worse than Andy Garcia when he had his conjoined twin. I had a great time with you tonight. You're really amazing. Thanks, Andy. I had a great time, too. Hey, how about some love for Shoulder Guy over here? <sighs> Shoulder Guy wants to get in on this. Just ignore him. Okay. So, do you maybe want to go in the other room? Sure. Sounds good. Oh, and show the guys going with you. Rick, shut up. Hey, bitch, want to suck on my tooth? Goodbye, Tin Man. Goodbye, Dorothy. Goodbye, Lion. Goodbye, Dorothy. And I think I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. Oh, okay. It's kind of an odd thing to say. Yeah, sort of a weird comment right in front of all of us. Kind of yeah. thought this was a team effort. Yeah, yeah. Really, really glad I risked my life and everything. Yeah, it's... you're like five minutes from gone and you leave with that? Yeah. You know, that's like cutting a huge fart and then walking out of the room. And that's how we'll remember you, as a big fart. Goodbye, big fart. I've screwed up worse than Disney did when they cast Michael J. Fox in that Zorro remake. Who was that masked man who saved us? I don't know, but he left his insignia. And I can't rent movies anymore. Uh, yes, I'd like to rent this copy of Garden State. Okay, I'll just need a picture ID. Oh, I don't have one. I'll rent it then. <laughs> it could have been me. This Tuesday on Lifetime, Valerie Bertinelli stars in a Lifetime original movie. You know, Doctor, you said you were going to cure my cancer, but all you did was rape me. I'm starting to think I don't have cancer at all. Well, you're right about the rape part, but I'm sorry, you still do have cancer. <laughs> Valerie Bertinelli in Men Are Terrible and Will Hurt You Because This Is Lifetime. What do you want your alias to be? What are you talking about? I'm not going to go... Pick a name for yourself! Willem Dafoe. No, not that one. I used to have a Willem Dafoe living under my bed. Hey, you asleep yet? Uh, no. Just checking. I never realized until now how much I've taken her for granted. I mean, she's my only daughter, and I feel like I've never treated her as well as I should have. Hey, Meg, you got something on your shirt? <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> 